we, we need um, a million technology workers in in Australia. As a computer, uh, you know, expert, I had to apply for the ACS skill assessment. To get a permanent residence in Australia, I needed to get my skills assessed. I didn't have any family here, so I came through the workforce. It's part of the immigration process when you apply for a permanent residency, that's the first thing which comes in. So ACS is the first stop um, for an applicant wanting to be assessed under um, the ICT industry. It's really hard to actually understand the process uh, and which uh, particular body you have to apply for it. It's not too easy, it's not too difficult, you need to know what to do. My lawyer told me to get my ACS degree skill assessment done. Be successful, um, you need to provide all your documentation. Look at your documentation, look at your experience, look at your education. The process uh, for me to collect all my documents, it took like less than a month. ACS would typically net you 30 points. 15 points for education, 15 points for experience. So it's a very big component. There's something in the guidelines that you're not sure of, or English is not your first language. We do offer the APACY service. You'll get a half an hour call with an ACS uh, case officer. We'll look at your paperwork before you go and pay the money and, you know, get stuck. Once you submit an application, the application goes to an allocated case officer that will take care of the journey from submission to case finalised. And unless you get ACS stamp of approval, you don't proceed. So we receive 30,000 applications per year and out of that, 89% of those are successful. I applied for my skills assessment and through that I got a permanent residence and eventually a citizenship into Australia.